Hey guys, what's up? Fro here. So I recently purchased a razor or weaver in the Chroma. Here's kind of a look inside the box. I am super excited to have this. I ordered it the other day during the Amazon Prime sale. I've been looking at getting one of these and it just happened to be on sale. So I figured why not? I originally was going to get the Totaris, um, but since this one on sale, I decided to get it instead. Uh, for those for those that don't follow me on social media, links down below. Uh, recently, I had my Razer Naga Trinity break, so I contacted Razer and they didn't have any in stock. So they were actually going to give me a store credit if I mailed my back, which I mailed it back the other day. Um, so I was going to look into buying this or the Tartarus and then I decided to get the Tartarus because it's a little bit cheaper. But since this one on sale, I got this. So we're going to be getting some other Razer goodies soon. Uh, once I get my store credit, we are not going to be buying the Naga Trinity because I just kept having issues with it and I don't feel like dealing with it again. So not that there's anything wrong with the Trinity, like maybe it was just me, but I'm going to film this the same way I did the last video where I'm going to show my face as well as my camera and we're going to unbox this bad boy. So the reason I've been wanting to get one of these is I have a couple friends that use them and I really like the idea of using these, especially for certain games over just using my keyboard. Um, so that's why I've always had an interest in kind of using them and since it's on sale, like why not? Here is a look inside the actual box. All right, we're gonna bust this open. All right, we're gonna take this out. Some stuff fell out, but here is what it looks like inside this. This nice little plastic casing that it's in. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh man, and it just slides right out. That's really easy to get out. Uh, but here is kind of a look at it through my camera. You can see that we got like the little hand rest thing here we got the little thumb thing we got some buttons we got we got a whole lot of stuff so let's get i'm gonna go ahead and take this out and i'll be right back so in the box as always you have just like a little pamphlet it's gonna be green screened out because i have a green screen and then you get to some razor stickers that you can stick on stuff but here's just like the little manual and things um here is the actual item this looks really nice i'm really happy with this let me show you kind of back in here again Ooh, that's really soft i'm actually really impressed with that so the way that it works make sure that you can see my hand so the way that it works is you rest your hand basically on it just like this and you just use these buttons and then you can adjust the bottom part i believe oh there we go so you can pull this part out by pushing this little button on the top or you can put it back in which I think actually the position of that was fine for me. So there's also a little button on the side. You pull it out and you can move that kind of where you want it to. Push it back in. So the reason I got this over the Tataris as well is because it's a lot more adjustable. Which I really like because I kind of have large hands for a girl I've been told. Um, okay, so that's how you move this. So then there's a side button there on the bottom one. And you push that in and then you can slide it out or slide it in depending on your comfort level uh, but yeah so I decided to get this one for a variety of reasons but mostly being that it's a lot more adjustable than the Tataris although it is more expensive but for 99 bucks like it was 30 bucks off which is not a terrible deal but at first glance I'm really impressed with how this looks I think it'll be really fun to use I don't think I'm gonna use it for every game that I play but I'm gonna use it for quite a few of them so let's go ahead and get this set up and I will be right back. All right guys, so I am back. I had to restart my computer as per usual with these type of things, that's usually what you gotta do. So here is what it looks like. This is the software, just the standard Razer software. It looks like I have an alert that it wants me to talk about or it wants to tell me about, I guess. Uh, so here is the lighting. So I currently have mine on Spectrum, as you can see in the other screen with it going on. Ignore how dirty my <laughs> mouse mat is. We also have breathing. And then you can select like different colors or you can do random colors like you can the world is your oyster we also have reactive pick the color for that too um i personally i really like wave too i think wave's another one of my favorites uh, that one is wave i think it looks really cool you can also pick the direction that it goes and you can make it so all of your devices are doing the same effect. I personally, before before the spectrum cycling, I find the wave sometimes hurts my eyes a little bit. 
but maybe. I'm just old. I don't know. Um, it looks like there's also a add-on section, uh, which has apparently some add-on stuff for World of Warcraft, which is really cool. You can set different macros for it. It looks like it's pretty easy to set what key you want it to do. You can key map pretty much everything. You can go to the side view, the top view. Um, so it's really, I mean, as per usual, it was really easy to set up. I just took it out of the box, plugged it in. Software immediately popped up and was like, hey, do you want to install some stuff? And I said, sure. And then I had to restart and then here we are. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this for every game that I play but I am going to use this for quite a few games that I play. Um, it actually feels pretty comfortable in my hand um, right out of the box. I haven't really adjusted anything quite yet in terms of how it fits. Um, I probably will play around with it a little bit to maybe get it to be in a more comfortable section. Um, I definitely think this is gonna be one of those things where it's not like a mouse or a keyboard where you have to get used to it. Like you have to really get used to gaming with something like this but i think once you get used to it i think it's a really fun addition to you know your setup so i'm i'm really excited to play with this and test it out so if you guys want me to maybe film kind of a review video here in a couple months after i've used it for a bit i'm totally fine with doing that i do want to start doing more reviews on my channel i am going to be reviewing this headset very soon as well as doing a video on my stream deck which is what i typically use for my stream hence the name stream deck and yeah i have a bunch of videos planned for you guys so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and be sure to give this video a thumbs up don't you just love that transition Check out my previous video as well as my unboxing playlist. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.